name is Bridget Mackay and welcome to the second installment of my video blog on the subject of same-sex couples and planning for their future. Um, this installment I'm going to talk a little bit about a very exciting subject, assets and taxes. <laughs> um, the most important thing if you are in a same-sex relationship is to know what your relationship timeline is. I talked in an earlier blog about the different variations of relationships in, or at least how the law sees the variations in relationships for same-sex couples. And um, it might be helpful to review that. But if you're gonna go see an attorney to get your estate plan put in place, some good homework you can do before that meeting is to really write down what your relationship timeline is. If you were in a registered domestic partnership before you married, um, and you know when you married, when you got together before you even went into a reg registered domestic partnership, if there was a long time frame of living together, all of those are significant moments in your relationship as it relates to your taxes and your estate planning because what we do as estate planners is look at your assets and try and figure out when they were acquired and how we're going to classify them. Are they community property that are within the domestic partnership or are they um, separate property? And each of those will be treated differently both by California probate rules um, and federal taxes and estate taxes. Um, each couple has a unique journey and with that unique journey requires some unique planning. But if you know your relationship timeline, if you're aware of those dates and when you acquired things, that planning goes a lot smoother and a lot easier and I think you as the client understand what's going on better. It's easier for us as the attorneys to explain to you what you know needs to be looked at and decided upon. So, um, and I mean mainly we want to not have you exposed to taxes and we want to make sure that your wishes and your estate plan are carried out with the assets that you you know have different qualifications for so um, bottom line is is know your relationship timeline um, before you go in to see your estate planner or hopefully when if you're working with an attorney getting your estate plan together they will have you do that as part of the process